Good morning everyone. Tao Overflows on Children series. Protect the child from all kinds of influences. The only way to take care of the child is to protect him from all kinds of influences. Children are immense mysteries, extraordinary potential, indomitable courage, unparalleled creativity, but all these are in seed form. It is almost impossible for you as a grown-up or as a parent to know the hidden treasures of a child. A child's hidden talent is multidimensional and unimaginable. Only he needs right environment to be allowed to grow naturally. This needs tremendous courage on the part of you as parent. The moment you start building them up, the moment you start building them up, the moment you start creating patterns and characters around them, you are imprisoning them. They will never be able to forgive for that. Introspect within. Are you capable of forgetting your parents? You may respect him for social reasons, but deep down, no child can forget his parents. This is the reality, a stark reality which no one accepts. They will never be able to forgive you. And this is the only way they will learn. They will do same thing to their children and so on and so forth. Each generation goes on giving its neurosis to the new people that come to the earth as children and the society priests with all their mysteries and miseries they think they claim they are taking care of the children when a child is born the third eye center is active when a child is born third eye center is active child is born with this center and this center remains active for 40 days. Then the teachings and upbringings destroys this center. Hearing and seeing is the outcome of upbringing. You want the child to hear, to see. For 40 days a child cannot see or hear anything. This is a medically proven. He is happy for the other reason, not what science says. It is during this period, the seed of awakening and his future role in life is planted. But who can plant? An awakened parent. If you are brought up in the company of an awakened one, then it naturally happens. It is during this time the seed of awakening and his future role in life is planted. Then a time comes in the process of inward journey that he needs to invoke his third eye center. He comes to an awakened one. He is given a technique. The more aware he is while practicing the technique, the third eye evolves because he has this experience in his consciousness of it. When third eye is developed, it is not to abuse. One in whom the center is active knows what is. However, he does not interfere with divine will. However, he does not interfere with divine will. 
knowingly he allows things to happen according to divine will whether you like this or not therefore protect the children from every kind of influence so that they can remain themselves and it is only a question of seven years these seven years are very very crucial on this this is the foundation on which the entire life is dependent what happens in that when I speak of the next seven years then you will know the book life love and light is the outcome of a person who was brought up in a Western environment of freedom and many other things but her seven years of life was not developed grown the way it is meant to be so there are many questions as a revolt the person goes and does certain things not with an understanding but a revolt and then the whole book is based on that it is an eye-opener for parents it is an eye-opener for a teenage so that he does not commit the same mistake which this author has committed in her life and she was bold enough to share the generalized form of the problems that are experienced by almost everyone and these have been answered and responded accordingly therefore protect the child from every kind of influence so that he can remain himself and it is only a question of seven years because then the first cycle will be complete by seven years he will be well grounded the foundation will be very strong centered strong enough to carry on any structure to any elevation and the third eye center will be protected as well you don't know how strong a seven-year-old child can be because you have not seen the uncorrupted child as yet you do not know how strong a seven-year-old child can be because you have not seen uncorrupted child yet if you have eyes you can see it a child that has grown into full fruition uncorrupted is in front of you you have seen only corrupted children Tao is living example of uncorrupted childhood Tao is a living example of uncorrupted childhood protected by all kinds of influence the way Sheikh Bridge Mohanlal protected the tender seat of awakening in Tao nourished and nurtured is the way each parent should take care of the child the way Sheikh Brij Mohanlal protected the tender seed of awakening in Tao nourished and nurtured is the way each parent should take care of his child every morning every night I used to sleep with him on his bed so during the time when his tawajjo is going for the entire universe I am getting soaked into that it was not directed in a particular direction it was for overall growth so first question comes in what is tawajjo someone said to give tawajjo you focus on sending the light energy of love from directly to the heart of another like lightening a candle with flame of love firstly light that you know is not light you see the lighted object and consider this as light the very simple example of this can be understood with modern technology we have 
internet facilities. With internet facilities, there is two terminal points from where the message is transmitted and where it is received. Where it is received. So whatsoever you have spoken, your analog is converted into digital and it is the digital format it travels and also your documents travels in PDF format. And if the system of the person to whom the message is sent is not open, the message will not be received instantaneously. Where it goes, it goes into his system. This is what happens. A master says when he visits a particular city, he casts his glance, just a thought, towards the entire city and all those who are pulsating for the growth will come like a magnetic pull. They don't know where the pull is coming from. Sometimes they stumble, not able to find the, where this fragrance is coming from and then ultimately they reach because the Master's energy is constantly transmitting and becoming the part of cosmos. So what happens? The Master sends his energy field just very thought, just I decide and it is not an effort either. It is constantly flowing just as the fragrance and the beauty of the flower flows spontaneously towards everyone in the cosmos. One who is vulnerable to that fragrance and beauty is attracted to that flower. There may be many passing through the flower, but they are not attracted to the beauty and the fragrance. So Master's energy is like that of a flower that has blossomed and effortlessly it flows out of him. Constantly, every one of you will know the story, how you come in contact with the Master, with the Awakened One. You stumble, you inquire here and there, then you relate to your past experiences. The Master, there is a power within that knows beyond our knowings. We are not aliens, nor as strangers join. We are bound to each other by a causeless force. We are bound, there is a power within that knows beyond our knowing. This is inner net. You are given this, uh, this functionality in you. Just as you have consciously installed the internet in your, in your system so that you can communicate with your friends and families. God has given that facility of inner net in the form of the blossoming into each awakened one and each one of you. you your system is dormant, not able to, and maybe its receiving capacity, maybe the download capacity is low, but the transmitting capacity of the awakened one is very high. It transmits it, uploads at a high speed, so it happens that way. So this is Tavaju. It's like a, there is nothing there in between. There is no, um, the, but just as you, the message that I am transmitting and it is converted into digital format and reaching to your format, the same way it is constantly emitting in the cosmos and it reaches to your system depending on your download speed and also your availability you turn on your system remains always turned off so the master communicates through your subconscious this will continue it is a very important series for you and for your children take care until i speak tomorrow again